Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to another nighttime pouring experience. Um, tonight we're going to be doing something really fun. Uh, last week I saw my friend Nate from Nate Bright Art doing a wrecked puddle pour that he called Desert Flat Feathers and it was so pretty and so beautiful. It was part of our Southwestern collab with Waterfall Acrylics and Karen Dershin and Feral Art and myself. And it was a beautiful, beautiful piece. And he did another one last week that was really awesome also. But this color palette is just so beautiful to me and I really wanna play with it and I really wanna do this technique. Another really funny thing is this whole making puddle pours kind of reminds me of this golf ball challenge I did with my friend Sarah Mack a long time ago. I will link that video for you because it was pretty funny. That was the first time I'd ever used a golf ball. So it was kind of fun. But this is a variation on that and I think it's gonna be kind of cool. So let's get started. Um, my colors are very similar to Nate's. <laughs> Uh, I like a lot of these colors, so that's why. And I, you know, I saw his video and it just made me want to paint. So that's what we're finally getting to do tonight. So we are using a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Sloth. I have painted my sides and edges and I have taped and pinned the back. Okay, so let's move that out of the way. And it is mostly level. <laughs> Okay, so another exciting thing tonight we are trying out is Mix Pour. So this is not your old Mix Pour. This is Mix Pour put out by Becky Selman and her company um, Gulf Coast Acrylics Shop is where you can find this. So this is Mix Pour. Um, it's pretty cool. It's very thick. So I have added a lot of water, but these paints are just mixed with Mix Pour and water. Um, it says on here about a seven to one ratio. So, you know, I added a lot of water though. I'm just gonna say that. Can we, um, can you focus on that QR code? Mm -hmm. So I think if you scan that with your phone, like you're gonna take a picture, it should take you to her website. Good. Which is www.gulfcoastacrylicsshop.shop. Is it? I can't see yeah. the dot. Okay, yes, <laughs> dot shop. <laughs> Sorry. There's no dot com, it's just dot shop. Okay, so um, it looks pretty cool though, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I have mixed everything so it is not a thin consistency by any means. It is leaving a mound on a mound before it sinks into itself, and like I said, I put a lot of water in. Okay, so well, this is our Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Beautiful color. One of my favorites. Then we have here Golden Transparent Red Iron Oxide, which I love. And I believe Nate used this color also, which was funny because I had used it in my Southwestern pour too. <laughs> I love that. If you find people that you, you know, really mesh with and vibe with and, you know, you kind of get on this synchronicity sort of we often find ourselves doing the same thing at the same time. It's kind of cool. So this is the transparent red iron oxide. Okay. And then we have Pebio Studio Iridescent Pebio Studio Acrylics <laughs> in iridescent orange yellow. I love this color. I started playing with this one around Halloween last year, and I just it was awesome. And it's so beautiful, and it's lit it's one of my favorite colors now. Absolutely stunning and I love it when it dries. It's so beautiful. Okay, so then we have Amsterdam Titanium White. Nice and thick and creamy. And we have some Amsterdam Naples Yellow. This is one of my favorites. This is my favorite yellow to play with. I like it because it's soft and buttery and still does all the things you want yellow to do, but it doesn't hurt your eyes. Then we have another Pebio over here. This one is iridescent green, no. <laughs> iridescent blue green. <laughs> Not the green blue. The green blue is more green than this. This is blue green. Beautiful color. This is the first, one of the first Pebios I started playing with and I absolutely love it. It's wonderful. Okay, then last but not least, we have golden turquoise thalo, another favorite. So, what Nate did was put down a big puddle of black as his base and then poured 12 puddles inside that larger puddle. So, I'm not using black, I'm using drips that are a nice 
mid-nighty purpley sort of color and it's a little thinner than that. This is not used with mix. This is just drips that I've had that have been combined with other colors and I am going to kind of tilt this out. So let's pour our puddles down. So Nate did three rows with four puddles in each one. We're going to sort of adopt that same style. I'm going to start off with the transparent red iron oxide. Put one there. circles, but that's okay. Maybe we'll just keep ours to five. And then we had the light turquoise. It's because it's coming off the edge of your cup in like a ribbon. I think that's what it's all about. Yeah, it's alright. It doesn't really matter. Alright. Now we're going to use this light orange. than I did, but that's okay. Okay. And then let's work on those for a bit. So we're going to put down some of the turquoise thalo. some white in these also. I feel like there's a lot of paint on here now. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit of gold. Actually, all of them are gonna get a little bit of Back to the light blue on this one now. I can't let him do it. So do I, but you know, he did all the colors in all of them, so. Sorry, I'm just gonna do a little bit. Sweet twister. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna stop there with the, with the color. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Sarah Smack Smack Stick. <laughs> And we're going to do something kind of fun. I don't think I've ever actually done this before. We're going to do a wreck, but it's going to go all through the whole thing, okay? Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I last that I am. Here we go. Ooh. Dragging something. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. <laughs> wow, we wow. I oh, wasn't expecting that. We're not done yet. <laughs> I had a feeling there was more to come. I'm just gonna. Okay. And then we're gonna take our stick. Go the other one. Go this way. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? <laughs> yes, my love. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be a little more uniform with the spacing. base coat on here but I'm just gonna put a little bit on these corners just in case but there's a lot of paint on this canvas but this is all drips anyhow so <laughs> Woo. right all right I'm not gonna spread those out I'm just gonna tilt all right um, here we go there's a lot of paint on here. <laughs> I'm gonna go off of this corner. I'm gonna bring it back to the center. And we're gonna go off the other edge. Center again. I'm going to take it off the other corner. And just walk it down nice and easy. Wow. Okay. Wow. What do you think, Hey Joy? Sounds really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, there's still kind of a lot of paint on here. Do you think we should take a little bit off and open some areas up? I kind of want to take off a little bit down there. And stretch this side out a little bit more. Just because that gold is a little sheer. Okay. I'm gonna let this just float down. Stretch out. How fast that's moving. Yeah, that's 
pretty awesome. We're gonna stop right there. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that. I think this is the top and that's the bottom. So this was very cool. Huge thank yous to Nate from Nate Bright Art. Another awesome, awesome pour and the inspiration for me to play with it too. I love the color palette. I think that's a really cool technique that's a lot of fun. I think it's a great use of the base coat color, the drips, recycling. And uh, this was awesome. I really like the way Mix Pour has behaved. Um, I will link their website on the description box also so you guys can find your own. And um, I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. We'll be right back. dry and beautiful and looking amazing. I love these colors. <laughs> I'm very happy with this piece. I think it turned out so beautiful. I love that technique. I love all those beautiful smooth lines, all these shapes we created. Those colors are amazing. I'm just very happy with this. Very, very happy with this. I love that transparent red iron oxide. It's just a gorgeous color. And I really like it with the Pevio um, iridescent orange yellow on top of it. And I think it's like a perfect foil in contrast to those turquoise and the light turquoise. Really, really cool. So this is awesome. <laughs> what a fun technique. I really like the way that the mix pour dried. It's beautiful. It's very shiny. I see a lot of shimmer from the 24 karat gold. And uh, really, really pretty very nice finish on it so thank you to Becky Selman um, you can get mix pour at gulfcoastacrylics.shop so please check out her website for more information there so this was awesome thank you guys so much for being here with us today and huge thanks to Nate from Nate Bright Art you're awesome I appreciate you honey I love that we bounce off of each other and inspire each other and this is this has been fantastic so this one is going to be birds of a feather just because I see so many birds in this. <laughs> there's a couple up there. There's one over here. There's one down that corner. <laughs> Lots of birds. And I think since Nate's was desert feathers, birds of a feather kind of works together. So this is awesome. Thank you all so much for being here with us today. I love you a lot. Be sure to check out Nate's art collab, which is taking place this afternoon right after Brian Sigwarski. And uh, we'll see you there. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.